this is Amber with Lives in Sync to Row. This is your weekly reading for November 5th through 11th. And this is for the element of water. So we're going to start with Cancer. Spirit, what do you have for Cancer for November 5th through 11th? What would you like them to know, be aware of, pay attention to at this time? That wanted to come out, so I'm leaving it out. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, you have judgment. Mm. Okay. Judgment about a new idea. Judgment about leaving. Judgment about being single. Okay. Judgment about a new path that you're on. Judgment about a younger Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. <clears throat> It has to do with love. Okay, so what I'm getting is some of you are working on a relationship, okay? Trying to decide if you wanna be single, or if you wanna go along with this, okay? Um, I feel like you feel like this is the person for you or this is the situation for you. And it's like a wake up call for you to make the best decision or even to I'm here to keep going on this new venture interesting what the card that wanted to come out was the temperance okay and I, I feel like that goes with the tower so we'll get to that at the end okay so what you're doing right now is trying to find your path and happiness in this judgment that you need to make okay um, you're thinking about your future you want someone that's solid um, you're I, this could be a job situation. Um, this could also be a family situation. But I feel like you're trying to find contentment in your future um, when it comes to family, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to work. You just want contentment there. I have the five of so the five of wands, excuse me, which means that there is some competition. There is some some opposing forces within this situation, within your contentment, okay? And you're trying to gain control over the situation with the emperor. This could also be a father figure, a boss, someone like that, okay? That you are that you are um, having differences of opinion with okay um against what it is that you want and what it is that they want from you okay so during so what you're trying to do is look at um this situation the difference of opinion do are they uh do they see something that i don't see am i blinded by what it is that i want or where that i or where i am at this time that's what you're doing it's like you're trying to find the balance very interesting because the temperance comes out okay the tower came out as well um the tower brings a, a disruption of old ideas or some sudden change so i feel like this week there is going to be a sudden change and what it's going to do is create harmony or create balance within the situation or within these two people or these two ideas. Okay. Hmm. What I'm hearing though is while you're going through this disruption or difference of opinion is to look at things, um, in a very wise way. Or there's some wise advice. You may also need to step out of this situation, okay? Um, this is not a time for you to react. Because what's gonna happen is this person's opinion or what it is that they're trying to fight with you on is going to change. But you need to have patience in order to see that. It's like you're being called to, to open up to love, peace, kindness, to 
teachings of love and teachings of forgiveness and teachings of mm, forgiveness. To be very open and free spirited about the situation. When I look at the lovers, I'm more focused on the angel. And it, like in the temperance card. And I feel like this is going to be hard work, but I feel like you need to keep your head down and do what it is that you need to do during this, during this situation. Think about your future and withdraw from the need of feeling like you need to fight back, okay? You had two cards fall out. You had time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the universe. I'm sorry, the avenues in our life, in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of new beginnings and we are with you through each phase of each cycle. So something is ending, like I said before. You're withdrawing from something and the tower is bringing an end to something. And it's going to start more structure. It's going to bring more rules into your life. But you have to be patient and withdraw yourself from feeling like there's a need to a need of competition or a need to fight back because your other car that fell out was change in direction. OK, the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. And that's going to take patience. All right. Okay. So next we have Scorpio. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio for November 5th through 11th? Scorpio. Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's giving you an offer, I feel. And you have to make a choice. If it's something you want to move forward on, there may be someone wanting to move in with you as well, okay? I feel like they're giving you a choice. They want something to grow for the future. Um, they're really trying to move things forward. You don't know, though, if you want to jump on the train, okay? And it's a burden to you. And I feel like they're trying to give you an opportunity. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like they feel like they're giving you an opportunity. But you're like, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really get enthusiasm from you about this. Um especially with the two of wands um i feel like you're weighing your options believe it or not i feel like you think that things are moving fast or moving in a direction that you don't quite know you're, if you're ready to give to okay all right so there is an offer, like I said, you may be in a relationship or someone's offering you a relationship or some sort of partnership, uh, a roommate situation as well. Um, 
to almost move forward it's like they're trying to grab your hand so they can guide you sort of energy so they give you this message or they let you know something and it's just the beginning of an idea um, meaning that you also may be dealing with let me just get this out here cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, definitely a Taurus with the Hierophant, um, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It looks like everyone's here, so it's not going to discriminate on signs here. So it's like this message someone is offering you uh, to guide you. Basically, they're trying to move things along. That's that's really what I'm getting. Okay, I'm gonna move this camera. I have this thing with things being even, so just ignore me. Okay. <laughs> um, to move forward it's like they're offering you um, security I feel like uh, marriage for some of you moving in together um, doing something together all right um, and I feel like this is a real offer okay like they really are trying to offer you something from their heart something secure something traditional uh, for most of you I'm really hearing marriage okay it's something really strong that they're offering you okay um, interesting though with the king of wands it's like they have a direction okay and you do want to be married do not get me wrong okay I feel as though you do want whatever it is that they're offering you but um, you do have a certain amount of expectations okay about what you need and because this relationship is so new um, and it kind of feels like this is materialized out of thin air it leaves you confused and and that is possibly where the burden lies okay it's like a lot of responsibility um, to get married or to do something this intense it, it's it's a lot of responsibility and a lot of things that you need to think about um, you may also have something else that you're trying to give your energy to um, and this is just kind of steamrolling you is, is what I see I see a train coming in and, and hitting you okay so um, it's definitely inducing some thought it's not that you're not thinking about it but I feel like feel like it just leaves you open to curiosity it's not like there's real open communication about it okay um, you're definitely trying to balance your emotions and and figure out how you feel about it I just don't know how you feel about it I feel like the offer makes you happy but you still have the decision whether or not that you want to go into it okay for some of you you're going to be over the top I can definitely see that okay um, the burden is figuring out what you're going to do with your households for those of you that are really excited or um, how you're going to tell everyone or how you're going to go about it um, and for some of you you're very hesitant about the offer but it does look like that love is here I don't doubt that this person doesn't have these feelings for you um, but I feel like they may be moving too fast for you but there is an opportunity for growth there is an opportunity for something bigger to come from this too many cards fell out I'm not gonna take all those assertiveness <laughs> you had a few cards fall out uh, again so I'm gonna go with it but assertiveness was the main card 
And this says the situation can be healed gently with love as you request it. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Exactly. You also have perfect timing. And I feel as though the other person feels like this is the perfect time for this to happen. And this seems like the perfect time for you as well. You just have to open up. Creative project. That's for someone who is dealing with this in a business sense. And um, I feel like you're being offered something new for those of you that have to do with work. Okay. You're being offered something new. Um... It's giving you a chance to prove yourself to the company and you will and you know that you can do it. I have no doubts whatsoever, especially from these cards. You also have fresh air. This is about stepping out of the intensity of the situation to see it from a different perspective, to take a deep breath and then choose your words wisely instead of coming out and just saying how you feel at that exact moment. Reward yourself. Okay, this is about. knowing that this is a is a real offer especially with the two kings you have two kings and two pages okay the two pages are telling me that this idea and this offer seems premature to you or that it comes out of the blue it's not something that you've been talking about okay um but the kings tell me that the idea of growth here and the emotional stance is there okay the emotional security the emotional and growth or uh passion aspect of this is real a hundred percent okay but the the actual message and the manifestation of the offer is what comes out of the blue okay so i'm gonna end that there if you need any more information about that, just at, get a personal reading. I'm sure it'll be, actually, I know it'll be much more um, directed towards you because that felt kind of uh, general for me, okay? So last but not least, we have Pisces. Spirit guides, what do you have for Pisces for November 5th through 11th? What would you like them to know, be aware of, pay attention to at this time? The Hierophant. I'm getting a vast amount of things here with these cards. For some of you, there could be a marriage. I feel like there's a third party asking you for attention or an opportunity for a relationship and you're in a marriage. Um, what else do I see in relationships? I feel like for some of you, you're in a relationship and it went really fast. Okay. And for those of you that have to do with work, You weren't sure whether or not this would be the job for you. But then when you got in it, you realized that it was. I feel like you're dedicated to the company, okay? All right. 
So there's some confusion with the Seven of Cups. But even though you have this confusion, you're still steady on your path. You're aware of this confusion that you do have. You're not ignoring it. It's definitely not something you're ignoring, but you're continue to move forward. You continue to move forward because you this is per, this is perfect for you. This makes you happy. Okay? This brought you out of a, a, a time of confusion. Or it's giving you some sort of uh, uplifting aspect. Okay? It's helping you move forward. For some of you, you're moving forward from this third party. Because you already know what you want or you're standing by what it is that you want and you have to put a rest to something. You're putting a rest to it because you thought about how it served you and it didn't it didn't make the cut. <laughs> okay? It's like also for some of you, you were confused, but you decided to make a choice and move forward with your choice. You will never forget all the choices you had. I feel like you stand by the choice that you made, but you still are aware that these other choices are there or they might be trying to get your attention also in a way but you're moving forward because you're basing your decisions on what it is that's best for you okay um what you have to withdraw from after much soul searching or introspection on the situation because I feel like you want something an opportunity for something that is secure whether it be for money success long-term relationships um, and being still or not making a decision is not going to help you okay so being in harmony with yourself is going to is is helped you based make the decision or based on helping you make this decision okay if that make any sense i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> um but you're thinking about your beliefs what it is that you want to hold true and that's the thing that's what you've been in for a while is expressing yourself um using your freedom of will to really help you make the best decisions for you using your intellect or uh, your in your intuition and spirit to I feel as though you, it's very interesting Pisces because I'm feeling from you as though you know what it is that you want to do but you kind of stay in a situation to see if if there's something else that you missed or something else that you need to pay attention to okay um, and that's what this feels like but I feel as though you made the decision though and decided to withdraw from whatever the old things were because you you're t it, it's just time to make a decision you know to put things to a rest your card was be honest with yourself look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation it's safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. 
Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon the truth, desires, and they will come to you upon angels' wings. Beautiful. I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. So thank you so much for listening. If you need any um, private readings, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. That link is in the description box below. I will see you next week. I love you very much. Love and